Charlotte Tilbury. I cannot say her damn name. It always sounds like sha -ba -da -ba -da. Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. I have like the most makeshift lighting right now. I broke my ring light. That's why I really haven't filmed a sit down video like this, but I thought of this idea the other day and this is probably not original at all, but I wanted to do a like vanity chit chat where I just come up with like a beauty topic and we can talk about it and we can chill. Um, I'm gonna do like a rapid fire video of all the products I would take with me. Like this is like if the world was burning down Okay, and or like I had to flee or like whatever, something urgent was happening and I could only take what I needed to take and that it was like conveniently in a to-go makeup bag ready for me to go, which maybe I should make that just in case. My husband is a big like prepper, not a big prepper, but like is prepped. And so maybe I should make a makeup case where if the world was ending and I had to go, I had to flee. This is what I would take. I've been decluttering. My house is a mess, but that's because I've been going through things to organize things. And I just wanna show you what my vanity looks like right now in case you didn't know. Okay, mess, we're gonna get to it, but we're not paying attention to that right now. Here is the vanity. I cleaned her out. If you could see what she looked like the other day before I did clean her out. Oh girl. I mean, we're a little messy up here, but we're like trying to get it together, but it's a lot better than what it was, specifically this. Insert what it looked like before. And this is gonna make this job a little easier because if the world was ending, what would I take with me from A through Z? So I guess we'll start with a primer. I do prime my face, but I don't use a primer. The primer that I use is my moisturizer. So I would definitely, I just bought a new one. I would definitely have my Maraud Perfected Day Cream SPF 30 in my to-go kit because I cannot live without sunscreen. I wear sunscreen every day, very important. And this one is my favorite. It just like, honestly looks so good on my skin. It makes my skin look juicy and it looks really beautiful under makeup, but you guys know about that. So I don't need to talk about it so much. For the nighttime, I would have to take my Tatcha water cream. It would just really be unnecessary. So I'm taking a morning and a night. I just, I am, we're allowing it to. So to prime my face, I would use these. I would bring an eye cream with me, but I don't have one that I absolutely love. So I guess my Charlotte Tilbury Recovery Eye Serum, Charlotte Tilbury. I cannot say her damn name. It always sounds like sha -ba -da -ba -da. I don't know what I'm saying, but I would take this one. I guess, but just because I really haven't tried one that I like lately. All right, makeup now, because now I feel like I'm primed. Definitely in terms of a concealer. Mm. I already have her in my to-go bag, but it would definitely be my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm in the shade Vanilla. I love this. It's beautiful under the eyes. It really conceals, but it hydrates and it doesn't really move into the fine lines if you don't put too much on, so you don't even really need to powder it. Guys, this is the best concealer ever, and it's drugstore, so I would definitely, definitely pick her. And then I just feel like because the two and two go hand in hand, my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, these two, would have to be in my to-go bag. They would have to be. For bronzer, I would say my Yensa Sunlight Bronzer, but if you watched my recent makeup declutter, video, you know, I, I got rid of her because she was looking old, but that would definitely be my go-to bronzer for sure. I need to buy a new one, but I really want to try the Say Beauty bronzer. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to turn over a leaf. I'm trying to be a little bit cleaner, which you'll know if you watch my most recent vlog. So I want to try that one. I want to give that one a shot. I just want to try. Okay, for blush, guys, it's really hard. I have three favorites. But I think if I had to choose one at the moment, this has just like really been my vibe. But if you've watched other videos recently, you will know the other two that are also my vibe. Just this has been my vibe as of late. The Say Beauty, I was just talking about you in Peachy, so freaking good. This formula is unlike any other formula. It is hands down the best liquid blush formula out there. My crown brush, which is discontinued, but She's coming with me, regardless of whether you can get her or not. And then my Yensa bronzer blush brush. Oh my God, my Yensa brush. This is the Yensa silk bronzer brush. I use this with all my bronzers. Is this boring for you? Because like, you know, all of these things, you might. 
my Gucci brow pencil. They're bold today, okay? I didn't mean to go this bold. I was just a little heavy handed, but I'm wearing this today. And of course my Merit 1980 brow gel. Oh my God, guys. It's unlike anything else. Like I, I said this in a recent video, but other gel brows, other gel brows, I can't talk today. Other brow gels, other brow gels that I've used, they don't come out of the brow very easily. This, I put like my gel to oil cleanser from Shiseido in and poof, they are gone. Oh my God, bitch, you knew it. My Lancome Lashy Doll. I've gone through, I think this is like my third one. I'm really running out. I should replace this. So I'll use her tomorrow and then I'll get rid of her. Oh, we gotta do the lips. That's really hard. And eyeshadow, eyeshadow is hard. Mm. You know what? I know what eyeshadow I would take, but you're not gonna be happy with my decision. I would take the NARS Wanted palette. I just would. And this is discontinued. I'm so sorry, but I'll give you one that's not discontinued. Okay, I'll be fair, but this would be the one that I would pick in all fairness. This would be in the to-go bag for the end of the world. Another one that would be a close second, I'm not even gonna say it because it's discontinued, but also NARS. I love NARS eyeshadow. It's so sad how so many of my favorite eyeshadow paddle, paddles, palettes are discontinued. Like the Tati Beauty one, rip. That's so sad. It like hurts my chest when I say it. Like that's how sad I get inside. Um, I would have to say this one, this one, this one. What's wrong with me? The new nudes by Huda Beauty. I don't know. I just, I love it. I know that's, and that's like saying a lot because this is a new one in my collection. I bought her for my wedding, but she's just like, I just can't. Like, I just can't. Like, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I just, I can't. I don't really feel like swatching and getting makeup all over me, but oh my God, blinding, blinding, blinding. So good. So I would pick that for one that's available as my to-go eyeshadow. I'm looking at like just in front of me, anything else that I really, really can't live without. I can live without this, so let's not include her, but I have to say during the holidays, I always gravitate back towards her. Fenty Beauty, how many carrots highlighter. I put her on my eyes every day. That's what's on my eyes. Every day I've been putting her on for the last three days. That's not a lot of days, but before the past three days, I've been sporadically using her. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty, it like dances in the light. I don't use her on the cheek though. I don't like that kind of highlight on my cheek. I'm really just prolonging this next decision because it's really hard. Um, I should pick a lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip gloss because we love lip products here and I'm not, you know, I can't, I have to pick one of everything. So a gloss, if I had to leave with a gloss tomorrow would be this, my NARS Chelsea Girls. What I'm wearing today is I'm really in love with this lip oil by Merit, shade All Natural, so nice. I'm wearing this on top of the Merit lipstick in the shade Baby. A really good lipstick, very comfortable. I don't love the shade, but I really like it with this lip oil. Okay, so that's what's on my lips today, but I'm not leaving with these two. I'm leaving with her and you guys have seen her so many times. I'll put her on the back of my hand just to be nice. But like that pink is a pink for the ages. It's just like a beautiful, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, I need this too though. And this is, don't you dare judge me. My hair remover for my mustache. I need this, I need this. And my billion dollar brows, tweezer man eyelash curler. I need those as well, okay? I'm Italian, I'm hairy. It is what it is, okay? I try to control it but also like no shame in the game for those of you who don't want to control your body hair. I hear you. Okay, let's just bang it out. Lip liner, I already know what it is. I don't know why I'm being so annoying. Look at this. I really dwindled down my lip liner collection because I went through a lot, okay? I'm very proud of myself. Um, It would be stripped down. And you know how you know it's stripped down? Well, how I know it's stripped down because you can't even read what it is because it's disintegrated because I use it so much. And maybe not a good pick because I don't feel like those two colors are perfect together. I could come up with a better lip combo if you don't follow me on Instagram. I do a lip combo every Monday, follow me. I also do it here though. So make sure you subscribe. And then lipstick, this is hard for me. MAC Faux is not the same that it once was. They changed the color. If you don't believe me, I'll link my video here. I compared a new MAC Faux lipstick that I recently bought with my old one that I've had for years and I should probably throw her out. And honestly, the plan was to throw her out when I received the new one. However, the new one is not the same as the old one. So I'm putting that decrepit thing on my lips and I don't really care. So this is what would be. And this is the new one. So not necessarily this one, but Mac Faux. It's close, but it's no cigar, my friend. Mac Faux. The OG Mac Faux would be my lipstick, but since it's not the same, I'm gonna pick something so basic. 
She's not even in front of me. But I would pick Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I would, I would, because I'm basic. And that's a good lipstick. And where is she? Like, I'm shocked she's not in front of me. I've used her, she's well loved, and I'm probably gonna finish her soon. And I will buy a new one because this is the lipstick that I would take with me. And also my Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist rip because she's done and I refuse to pay another $40 to buy her. Lifestyle Co. work with me. I shout you out all the time, okay? I'm pretty sure I've sold at least five of these, okay? So send me one, please. I'm trying to think of anything else. I would also have to bring cuticle oil, just FYI, I would need it. And I would also need a chapstick. And I've really, really been enjoying this one by Fresh, the Sugar Advanced Therapy. So that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chalk it there. Maybe some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. But like, how big, how big, how big in a bag? How big is this bag that I'm taking? I really can't talk today. And I would also throw this in my to-go for my eyes, the Charlotte Tilbury to-go little brush set. I literally just ate that, that setting spray because I was talking while I sprayed it. If we wanna talk about like brushes in a vanity chat or like skincare in a next vanity chat, like what would I have, have to be packed to go with me? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Let me know what you wouldn't be able to leave behind if you had to flee for whatever reason, you know? I don't know, but let me know. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. I hope this video like wasn't too crazy, but I had a really fun time doing it. I'm honestly just loving sitting at my vanity now that it's clean. But subscribe, click the bell, and yeah, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.